Come on. Do me a favor while we are here. Encourage someone beside you and tell them you don't really have to worry. Because God's got this. Come on, tell them God's got this. You need to put it in his hands and let him work it out. Y'all hear what I said? I said, put it in his hands and let him work it out. Hallelujah. He's strength like no other reaches to me. You are my strength. Strength like no other. Strength like no other reaches to me. You are my strength. I'm good, Cora. Strength like no other. Strength like no other. It reaches to me. Because I want y'all to sing it. You are my strength. I need you to tell God that. Strength like no other. Strength like no other. Some of you have been strong and you don't even know where strength is coming from. But I tell you. In the fullness of your grace, in the power of your name, you lift me up. I want you to be encouraged. You lift me up. In the fullness of your grace, in the power of your name, he lifts me up. Yeah, he lifts me up. Everybody say, you are my strength. You are mine. You're stronger than you think. Strength like no other. Yeah. Strength like no other, yeah, reaches to me. You are, you are mine. Whatever he is, be that God. Strength like no, he'll be strong for you. He'll be strong when you're not strong. And it reaches to me one more time. You are my strength. You know you can handle anything. Strength like no. Some of us have gotten news that disrupted our own plans, but he was strong for me. Glory. Some things have happened to us where. It should have took me all the way out of here, but he was strength for me. I wear a good smile and I make other people laugh, but he, he had to be strength for me. Oh, it reaches to me. And I tell you what, oh, and in the fullness of your grace, in the power of your name, he lifts me up, yes. Oh, Jesus, he lifts me up. In the fullness of, of your grace, in the power, in the power of your name, Oh, 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 Jesus, you lift me up. In the fullness 
of your grace for me. Yes, God. And I had to go in the power of your name. I'm coming higher than my circumstance, Lord. You lift me up. You lift me up. Lift me up. Lift me up. Lift me up. I'm asking God to, to lift me up. Yeah. Jesus, I need you to lift me up. One more time. He lifts me up. Uh, yeah, he lifts me up. All my strength, strength like no other, strength like no other. Reaches to me. Come on, thank God for your strength today. Oh, I need somebody to help me right there. I said, thank God for strength. Sometimes I don't even know how I'm making it. I'm going off the strength of God. Sometimes I don't even know where it's coming from. I know it's the strength of God. Every day that I wake up in the morning, it's all the strength of God. Hallelujah. We give honor to our Lord and Savior who is Jesus Christ. Amen. The Son of the living God, the great I am, Emmanuel, God with us. Let's give Jesus a great praise. Man, I'm not going to ask you to do it again. Amen. That's Elder Chambers' job. Amen. But I'm going to just tell God, thank you for being God. Amen. In my life. God is so good. Amen. To all of our ministers, once again, amen, of the gospel. Amen. Every heart, amen, in the building, everyone has been called. Amen. But we thank God for our presiding elder. Amen. Who is Elder Chambers? We thank God for him. Let's thank the Lord for him. Amen. And our, amen, great God, amen, who is, amen, and still in control. Yeah, thank you, Jesus. Amen. So I'm going to, I'm not going to be before you long. Amen. I do have a word from the Lord. Amen. We thank God. Amen. You may have your seats in the presence of the Lord. I want to welcome, amen, all of our visitors that are in the house on today. Amen. Welcome to the Apostolic House of Deliverance. Amen. We are also known as the Ahad Worship Center. Amen. Where we specialize in love. Praise God. So if you don't feel love, let me know. And I will handle it. Pray, Lord. Got folk around here, amen, that I make sure, <laughs> amen, that we are loved. Today, amen, I do have a word from the Lord. Amen. Praise him. I was, I thought that God would take this word, amen, to the fivefold, amen, but uh, he said today is the day. Thank God, amen, for the revival, amen, that we just came out of, amen, up in Virginia. Praise the Lord. How the Lord did bless us and meet us there. Thank God for the praise team that came down. Uh, they surprised me on a Friday night, came on down. <laughs> amen. Thank God for them. Praise the Lord to the, amen, uh, those that traveled along. I appreciate you and love you so much. In Jesus' name, good to see everybody. Please keep, amen, our sister short, amen, in your prayers. And her brother, amen, who is uh, now on hospice, amen. But we believe God, amen, until the end. Somebody help me praise him right there. Amen. Amen. I believe God can do anything, amen, at any time. Oh, God. Amen. Amen. Tell somebody, God still got time to bless you. Still got time to bless you. Man, if you got time to praise him, he got time to make a way. Amen. Amen. He give me one more day. I'm going to praise him all the way. Amen. God is so good. Amen. To every heart in the building. Amen. In Jesus name. Let's go. Amen. To the word of God. Father, we thank you for what you've already done and what you're getting ready to do. And ask that you will speak a word in this place and let your anointing. 
amen, fill the house, amen, where we are sitting in the name of Jesus. God, decrease me as you will increase the more. Let your anointing, God, take place in this place. In Jesus' name, Lord, help me preach. Amen. Uh, 2 Timothy chapter number 3. Y'all ready for five-fold conference? Okay, man, I'll give you another week, amen. Maybe I'll be louder, amen, but I'm ready, amen. God is going to do great things. Praise the Lord. 2 Timothy chapter number 3, amen, verse number 2. Amen, we'll go to 2, and two through 7, amen, in Jesus' name. For men shall be lovers of their own selves. For men, talking about us, he's not talking to, amen, the uh, world right now. He is, uh, Paul is sending a message or a letter to Timothy, and he is talking about the church. Yeah, yeah. Whether, yes, whether, whether or not we have gotten that mixed up or not, he wasn't talking to sinners. Yes. He sent a letter to the church. And he told us, he said, in the last days, this is what's getting ready to come. Perilous times shall come, amen, in the last days. And you are, whether you know it or not, saints, amen, these are, amen, the last and evil days. Yes, Praise sir. the Lord. We are living in perilous times. Amen. And the Bible says, for men, talking about us, let's go. Shall be lovers of them own selves. Yes. Covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemous, disobedience to parents unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontent, fierce, despisers of those, those that are good, traitors, heady, heavy-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof, for such shall turn away. For of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sins, mm. led away with divers lusts, Every learner and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Go back to verse number six. For, this, for of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sins, led away with divers lusts. Amen. So we have to be aware, amen, of our... Y'all mind if I talk just a, just a minute today? Amen. Uh, we, we will... Um, of leaders in the church who manipulate, amen, the... Uh, the truth of God yes, in the scriptures. Uh -huh. And we know, amen, that in the church, you can see right now that there are more women than there are men in church. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. And there was a woman last night that testified, and she said, she said, I've been begging my husband to come to church, but he won't come. He will not come, but my mama said that I need to, if I, if I go, I need, if I, even if I have to go, I got to go by myself. Amen. amen. And it's all right because, amen, you've got own, your own soul, amen, that you have to deal with. Amen. But, amen, the problem is, is that we have men. I don't know how y'all going to like this message today. Amen. But we have men, amen, who manipulate uh, the pulpit and the authority that they have in the church. And they know the spirit of women is to nurture, amen, and to help, amen, other, other people, amen, and they want to help their home, they want to help their families, and when they come, amen, to the ministry, amen, they use and abuse, uh, amen, their God-given spirit. And, and the Bible says is that, is that when they get to it, they start to um, actually lust, my God, turn their, their, their affection to nurture. Amen. It becomes a lust spirit because now you're manipulating them to get anything out of them. Amen. Because they want to control women. Whew. Rough, ain't it? I know. And we start finding out, amen, that, uh, that, the, that the word of God is not being preached, amen, glory to God. But it becomes adulterous because if you twist the word, amen, only to get what you want out of it, amen, you have done it no justice. We cannot 
tamper, amen, with God's word. The word is the word. The truth is the truth. It's not going to change my God for you and it's not going to change for me. God's word is, oh God, it is solid. It is not going nowhere, amen, and we cannot manipulate it, amen, to be or to conform to what we want it to be. It's a, it's a rough time right now. We're living in perilous times, amen, because, amen, we have, oh God, gotten so used to being, amen, or seeing things a certain way that when the times start changing, we feel like God, amen, has changed too. But he... He watches over his word, amen, to perform it. And if you don't have any word, he don't have nothing to watch over. Oh, oh y'all don't, okay, we good. Amen. Glory to God. If you, are, if you only have, amen, what the pastor has to say to you. Or what you get off of TV. Or what you think, amen, God, amen, is just saying to you. Amen, what is he saying in his word? You still over there in Proverbs. Over there in Psalms. Amen. And God is asking you, when are you going to grow up, my God, and get some more, oh God, some more word in you, my God. If you really had word, y'all don't like being here today, my God, if you really had word, it wouldn't take so much to get you to praise him. If you really had word, my God, it wouldn't be so much, amen, to get us, amen, into the presence of the Lord because he watches over his word, my God, to perform it. I don't want us to become a church, amen, where we're not excited about his word. Amen. Because if I don't have music, I still need word. And if I don't have you, I still need word. My God, oh, in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. Let's go to it. Let's go. To, you, you, can, you can get it. Uh, let's, let's, somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Uh, look, I'm going to give you my topic real quick. And y'all ready for this? Y'all really ready? Amen. I'm, I don't know how good I'm going to preach today, but it's not going to be long, but I pray that it be strong. Uh, let's uh, get, get to Hebrews chapter number 11. Amen. And that's where my text is going to come from. But amen, I, I have to preach this today. Um, and I need y'all praying with me because, amen, I already know that after this word, um, the enemy is going to attack me. I already know that. Come on, come on, bring it to the front. Bring it all the way up, all the way up to the front. Somebody's like, is pastor doing today what is pastor doing today what is pastor doing today what verse are we in amen somebody shout hallelujah Hallelujah. Oh, my Lord. What we at? No, not Hebrews. I don't need Hebrews. Well, I, no, I want you to stay in there, but that ain't what I want right now. Amen. I was telling you that. The second Timothy, that's where I need to be back. Um, there we go. Okay, I can, I can read it myself. You ready? Somebody got it. Second Timothy, chapter, chapter 3. There we go. Chapter 3. You got it? Verse number five. Hold, Have on. It. hold on, hold on, hold on. What, what is... Construction worker? Okay. He's a um, pastor or preacher, right? So what, what is he? Construction worker, right? And this... 
He, he is? Yeah. This guy? Okay. And, and he's a what? Come on, y'all. This class ain't slow. I know it's not. I know it's not. This, this, y'all, y'all, y'all AP class. Amen? Amen. Everybody in here got straight A's. He's a? There you go. He's a? Very good. Give yourself a gold star. Huh? <laughs> you, don't be scared of him. Don't be scared of him. He ain't, he ain't going to do nothing. He is kind of mean looking, though. I ain't lying. He's a what? Okay. And he's a? First, number five. Having a form of godliness. Having a form of godliness. But denying the power thereof. But denying the power thereof. You but, said he's a what? He ain't saying nothing. But y'all called him a Oh, I'm almost done, Sister Shay. I just want us to see where we at right now. You see what I'm saying? He is a what? He looked like it. It's a form of godliness. But if I came to him and asked him for a word, he could give me nothing. Give me that same look. And we're not getting saved off of looks. You're not getting saved off of an image. You're not getting saved off a of form. But we're going to get saved because we got to be the real thing. I wish I helped. What? This is what I'm tired of, really. Seriously. That's why I'm at this. And I had to ask God. I said, God, please don't have me fussing in church. Amen. But I am tired of this. I'm tired of the form of godliness and they ain't got no power. That's what I'm tired of. I'm tired of going to convocations. My God, I'm tired of seeing conferences. I'm tired of seeing jokers being on, oh God, on Facebook. My God, they got the rules, but they ain't got no power. Nothing. You don't want to walk with God. You don't want to sacrifice nothing. You don't want to sanctify yourself holy. You just want to look like it. The form of godliness, but denying. Pray for me, Pastor. Lay hands on me. All this other kind of stuff. He look at you just like that. He's still. He's dead. He ain't got nothing going on in him. There's no life in him. My God, but we put him in robes. We put him in titles. We put him in churches. We put him in our house. We let our children go around him. But they don't have no power. You know what the Lord told me? I said, God, I need a topic for this message. And I got to get out of here. You know what? You know what he told me? I said, God, what do you want me to tell him? He said, tell him, look at each other and tell him, neighbor, they play too much. They play too much. You play too much. It's not enough for you to be Deja on the staff. You got to be God's woman. Y'all don't like this. Y'all don't like this. Hallelujah. It's not enough. You come in here. Hey, ho. Oh. All Sunday, but if you mean and if you don't like God, if you don't like God's people, repent. You, my God, you people, my God, that come to church every Sunday, my God, got positions, my God, it's got all this other stuff going on. My God, repent, my God, because you, my God, are a form of godliness. You are nasty in the spirit. God don't see it. God don't know you. My God, depart from me. I know you not. You workers of iniquity. We did it all in your name. That's because my name got power. You don't. My name ain't never stop having power. We, we, we cast out demons in your name. That's because it's in my name. But if you was just like Paul, the Bible says that the garments of Paul, my God, drove out demons. My God, oh God, they had the garments of Paul. My God, they had them. My God, and they got, and sickness couldn't come in their body. My God, because of what was in Paul. If we really had Jesus, we wouldn't have to have a form of godliness. And he's a what? Uh, take them tools and build me something. (laughs) 
You understand where I'm coming from? You just look like one. All I did was ask him to go back in the back and get a wardrobe change. But can't be a, he ain't been to school for it. He don't know nothing about HVAC. He don't know nothing. He don't know nothing about construction. If I ask him to do anything in here to fix something, we don't do it. But you know what? How old are you? Has he? 16, he's 16, but we're doing prophets and we're doing apostles them the same way. My God, they ain't been, they ain't learned nothing, they ain't seen nothing, they ain't been behind nobody, they ain't obeyed nobody. My God, but we have put them all in positions, my God, of power in the Holy Ghost. I'm not saying that young people can't do what God tells them to do. My God, but at some point you got to sit and learn. My God, what God is saying, you got to be submitted. I wish I had a real church in here. Uh, God, this is a form of godliness. My God is denying the power. Because if I ask you to do, my God, what you are dressed to do, my God, you couldn't do it. So it is no power behind it. Play too much. We play too much. We play with God too much. And I heard the Holy Ghost. I heard the Holy Ghost. <laughs> I heard the Holy Ghost. I heard him. Hallelujah to God. He said, I'm nothing to play with. These are the, oh God, these are the last days. At any time I could come out. I could come back for you. You better be ready. I got word this morning that a young man, my God, I don't even know how old he was. He wasn't even in his 20s. My God, he just went in the bathroom and he dropped dead. Lord, have mercy. And his parents found him. Lord, have mercy. And we sit around here and act like God is something to play with. But God is nothing to play with. You better get yourself together. You don't know when your last time going to be. Let's not just look like the thing. But let's be what God told us to be. If you're going to be a child of God, be a real child of God. The prize of the righteous, they avail it much. Come on, let's give me Hebrews. Somebody shout hallelujah. Y'all can get this stuff out of the way. But that's what God is doing. He's taking the formalities out. And he's putting some people in place that really want Jesus. I wish I had a real church that said I'm really tired. My God, I'm coming to church. And I'm seeing the same old thing over and over. But God is saying, is there anybody here that's ready for a move of God? Is there anybody here that's going to put on the whole arm of God, the breastplate of righteousness, and say, God, I live, and for God, I die. Holiness is right, whether you like it or not. Holiness is right, whether they preach it or not. Holiness is right, whether they say it or not. Holiness is right, whether we think about it. I said, holy, without which no man shall see God. If you want to see him, you go out to change your life. You go out to change your mind. You go out to pray. You go out to read his word. You go out to hold up the bloodstained power. Be holy, for I am holy. Be holy, for I am holy. Say it. Yeah. Say it. Yeah. Hebrews chapter number 11. I shut down my heart, yo, son. Glory to God. God, I like you. God, I thank you today. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your word. No, I'm time out for playing. We gotta stop playing with God. If we're gonna sing songs of Zion, my God, and the only time you feel God is in your car. But then you get in the church, you all quiet, like God ain't ever did nothing. But the Bible said, show forth his glory. If you got God on the inside, somebody ought to see it. And not, not just to be a oh God on a Sunday morning, but you want to have Jesus way down on the inside. My God, when Monday comes, the devil's going to try you. When Tuesday get here, he going to try you double time. When Wednesday comes, you're going to need the power of the Holy Ghost. On Thursday, he will wipe the tears from your eye. Friday night, everybody else, you went to the club. Friday night, we done got dressed to do what we want to do, to drink and smoke. But on Friday night, you better find you a fiery service. Get on the altar and say, clean me, fill me, deliver me. Me. 
Yeah, Lord. Yeah, Lord. Yes, Lord. Go on to my seat. Hebrews chapter number 11. Thank you, Lord. Verse number 23. By faith, Moses, when he was born, was hid three months of his parents because they saw he was a proper a proper child in other words they saw God on his life and the Bible said they were not afraid of the kings my God commandment so they begin to go and hide Moses my God because they knew my God from a father child that he was special that he was somebody's God my God he was going to be used by God himself and the Bible said that they took him put him in a basket sent him on the river and when he got to the river he ended up in the palace that's what happens when the Lord knows you've got something on your life he will hide you for a season he will hide you so the devil can't take it see some of you have been having an attitude with God because you want to know when is it going to be my turn why it ain't me yet but how about God just might be protecting you from the commandment of those that want to kill you maybe God don't want you to be like everybody else but he wants you to be called down to be sanctified to be holy and without blame touch somebody real quick and tell them I don't want to play with God I want to be holy I want to be real I want to be sanctified I want to be ready